to them. Do you guys know what a derivative is? Um, no. Uh, and I did my dang darnest best teaching them what calculus was, but then at the end, they told me that I did it wrong. Like, my answer was completely wrong. They said something like, oh, I was assuming they were going the same direction. I don't freaking know. And I felt super stupid and embarrassed. And I told them, yeah, okay, I'll leave. And as I was walking to my car, I was doing the problem in my head, and I was like, no, I did it right. And then in the car, I even got out a piece of paper and I did the problem again. No, I'm still right. So the whole time I was so bummed out, I totally blew that interview. They're not gonna hire me. But then that night, I got a phone call and it's the people and they told me, hey, so we're talking about that problem with some of the calculus teachers and they all agree that problem has some elements of calculus. So that leads me to believe that these three really didn't know what a derivative was, but then they told me they'd give me a second chance. Ooh, I was ecstatic. I had to go to Target and buy another nice shirt because I only own one nice shirt and it'd be weird if I showed up in the same shirt. I get there, I get the problem about a farmer and his fence. I totally nail that problem. I knew exactly how much fence that farmer needed to build two pens with one being 2x plus three units larger. His farm animals were gonna be so happy. Hit me up if you need any more help, dude. The whole time I kept asking them, do you guys understand? And they said, yeah. So I thought I was doing good. I left feeling a lot more confident. But then they never called me back, so I didn't get the job, even though I bought a nice shirt from Target. And I kept working at Subway, and the